Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. My username is MCWare for you. I will link my Poshmark closet and my eBay store in the description below if you want to check me out. If you are a reseller, hello, howdy, hi. I started reselling in 1999, took a mommy break in between and I am back full-time since 2016. Um, and so yes, I sourced in Texas last week and normally I source in North Carolina. So today I will be showing you a 30 piece haul. I do have also a 10 piece shoe haul coming up and these are just things that I found in Texas. So without further ado, I'm going to just show you what I found. Texas thrift stores and Goodwills are about twice the price of here in North Carolina, if anybody's interested. I went to about six Goodwills and I also went to Texas Thrift. Um, I think that was in San Antonio. I sourced in Houston, Sealy, and San Antonio. I really wanted to do the bins because I watch YouTube videos of people shopping the Texas bins that look like a madhouse, but also super fun next time. So the first thing I found, which I do not know if this was, well, obviously it was a uniform because it says it was part of a uniform, Houston uniform apparel. So if anybody knows, I'm gonna do some researching, so I will eventually find out where this little cute little um, canvasy vest, size medium is from. I spent $4.99 and there's the back and it's very substantial, very uniform-like. So I picture like maybe it was a concession stand, maybe the people have to wear these at a concession, concession stand or rodeo or line dancing, I don't know. Okay, I also brought two pairs of, and I usually never pick up Fashion Nova, but I haven't decided whether I'm gonna keep them for myself yet. So I picked them up anyways, and I think they spent, I spent $5.99 each. Fashion Nova, really, really cool cargo, like cargo all the way down the leg. Just love these, and they are uh, by Fashion Nova, and they are a size 15 junior sitting here probably at a 34 inch waist and a super 32 inch slouchy inseam like a skater and then also i bought these ones and these are button fly and they have that trendy um button closure which is kind of like to the side as you can see and these are a size 16 size 16 and they are just a straight leg really cool two pairs of denim jeans okay now these are my finds this is a linen plus size 3x j jill dress maxi length all the way down and she has pockets and i actually found two of them this one was linen but the other one was not linen and so that was one and the second one is here we go also 3x nope that's not it well, we're just not gonna go in order then. So this beauty right here, I spent $7.99 and it is a full length trumpet style, navy blue, Maury Lee. Here we go. Maury Lee, uh, Madeline Gardner. And I have had good luck with selling this brand. I don't always pick it up, but whether it's T length or full length, they usually sell for me. So I decided to give it another go. And it is a plus size 16 ladies, navy blue. Brides, bridesmaid, prom dress, zips up the back, and substantial sleeves that are gonna show your bra. And so I picked that up for $7.99. All right, this is a new to me, no, no, it's not a new to me brand. This is Lafayette 148. I've only found this, I think, once in all my years of reselling. And these dresses retail for about four or $500. I picked it up for $7.99 at the Goodwill. And it is a size small, and I'm hoping to get maybe 60. So they don't have a fabulous um, resale value, but there is a, a resale value. Um, I think the first dress I ever found, I got $200 for off eBay. It was new with tags though. All right, next is a denim striped pinstripe i picked it up at goodwill for 6.99 and it is the brand anthropology and it is the e t t t w e by anthropology if anybody knows that 
I know Anthropology has a slew of different brands. I just picked this up because it was super trendy and it has back pockets and it a little peplum, um, high waisted, V neck crossover, wide leg, and the legs are they're full length, they're not cropped. So I'm assuming this probably retailed for probably about 128 to 150, and I'll probably put it up for 60. All right, next is a vintage dress that I wasn't gonna pick up because I didn't have a size on it. When I went to the register, I had it in the pile and I was looking to pick it up for myself. It's vintage and there is no size. Linen, cotton, dry clean only, made in Hong Kong and it's Ambria, Ambria. And it's like that real thick, substantial Irish linen and it is a full length shirt dress with pockets. It's just beautiful. I do not know what size it is. It was with the XLs has shoulder pads. I'm pretty sure it's 80s, maybe early 80s. I think of like that movie um, with Melanie Griffith, Working Women, if anybody remembers that movie. And um, so it didn't have a size. I mean, it didn't have a size. And I had it in my pile when I went to the register. She just thought of a, I mean, she thought of a, a price as she rang it up, which was $8.99. And I probably wouldn't have paid $8.99 for it, not knowing the size or anything about it. But um, all of a sudden she told me my total and I just paid for it. I did say, oh, well, how much was that dress? She said $8.99 and there was a long line so I wasn't gonna make her uh, put it back or anything. So I bought it. Okay, so this is a gorgeous little Matilda Dr Jane extra small ladies little knee length dress. Look at that, it's so gorgeous, so cute. Um, um, it's size extra small and I think it would fit a size 16 girl or an extra small um, lady. But it's just so cute. And I did pay $4.99 for her. And next is a new to me brand, okay. So I've never heard of this brand called Carly. New with tags. And it says the Swirl Tear Midi Dress retailed for $128. Uh, oh wow, I paid $15.99 for it. So I really hope it's something. Um, the colors are very Lily Pulitzer and I was hoping to find Lily Pulitzer and oh my goodness, I just noticed the broken zipper. All right, that's so sad. So $15.99 down the drain. What I think I'm probably gonna do is I'm going to sew that and then mention it. So I don't know, it's new without tag. I mean, it's new with tags, but it someone tried it on and busted the zipper and I didn't realize that, but I do know how to sew and I could um, I could sew it. Anyways, it's a size medium. What a shame. Tear dress, very Palm Royale and Lily Pulitzer type of look. Florida beachy vibes and cry, sad. <laughs> okay, here's the other J. Jill. Size 3X J. Jill. It's that stretch um, jersey fabric. I don't feel any pockets and it is an A-line style. Pull over the head and go in this royal blue. Very full length down at the bottom. Very pretty. Start hanging some stuff up here again. All right, so this was probably my best find and this was at Texas Thrift. And it is, my daughter is a reseller and she finds this brand a lot more often than I do and it's Sink a Sep. Sink a Sep with a C. And there is the brand, or there is the size. And this dress I did pull comps on. Oop, and there it goes. She retailed for $465. Crazy, crazy, crazy. $465, I think you could buy this brand um, either on the website, it does have like a little cutout. It's very body con, but then also tiered. It has, it has a lot going on. It is an extra small. It zips up the side and that zipper thankfully is not broken. And if you could hear the fabric, what fabric are you? The fabric, it's fully lined as well. I do not know what the fabric is, but I will search that at a later time. So this was my best find. It retails, like I said, 465. I'm probably gonna put up for 150, maybe take an offer for 100 since I paid, how much did I pay for you? I paid 11.99. So that was the first time finding that brand, so I was happy. Baltic Born, I find maybe twice a year, and these are stunning. The only thing I noticed, it is new with tags, but it doesn't have the belt, which is sad. Um, fully lined velvet green, like fall wedding, bridesmaid, maid of honor, fall Instagram pictures, definitely. I paid $12.99, and 
and like I said, it's new with tags. Baltic bore, born sells very quickly, not for a whole lot, but it does sell. So I'm gonna put it up probably for 60. It retails for around that, and then I'll probably take a 45 to $50 offer. I did pay $12.99, and um, Poshmark and eBay, they take 20% commission. So I've gotta uh, count that in to my sales, when I do take offers, you have to count in um, how much uh, the Poshmark, eBay, Macari, everything, anywhere where you sell, whatever they take, you've got to work that in. Okay, so this is another brand that's new to me. It's called Leafs Dottier. Leafs Dottier, hope I'm not butchering the name, but that's what she looks like. And it's a size four. I'm pretty sure I pulled comps. It feels very well made. The bodice is sequin. The bottom feels like a silk. It is fully lined and it has a lot going for it because even the lining has a cute little eyelet uh, lace trim. Just beautiful. Gorgeous dress. I'm not seeing anything wrong with it. Zips up the back and this also could be for a wedding or a prom, date night, what have you. Let me hang some of these back up here. Alrighty. Next is a Talbot's Linen. 20 wide Kelly green skirt, fully lined, semi-elastic waist, zips up the back, and plus size green. I will definitely have to give this a steam. No slits, nice and modest, and a full length slip, which is very nice. Nicer quality garments have a full length slip that goes all the way to the hem, um, and a lot of companies try to cut costs, and they have a slip that only goes to your knees, which, meh. Never like that. <laughs> Next are two vintage um, white stag skirts. And I believe I had these actually in the 90s back in the day. Broomstick skirts, they remind me of my late aunt who always wore them. And really, that's why I picked them up. But I know they will sell. They are easy breezy broomstick, um, the kind that you wash on a gentle cycle and then you twist them to give them those wrinkles. If you're standing in the sun, they will be see-through because there is no lining and it has those little bells right there, beads, excuse me, and White Stag XL 1618. And White Stag, um, I believe is still at Walmart, but back in the day, they sold it in other places as well. So we got a black, neutral, I just love them, um, and a green one, but I did get them to sell. And so those are broomstick skirts. So you're gonna put in the description broomstick um, skirt and you're going to put like boho vibes. This little number, I went, I put it through Google Imaging and it came up as a 1950s, says so size 44. It came up with a um, 1950s sweater. So there's a couple of over, for over a hundred on Etsy right now. Hand, the handwork is amazing. And it's a sweater where back in the day they would even line them so that you, that you wouldn't get, they wouldn't get itchy or you wouldn't sweat in them. I don't see any moth holes. It does have Angora in it. It is lovely, just beautiful. Very cottage core, look at the back. Raised beads, fully lined. I don't see any pilling or anything. It's beautiful. So I hope to get probably 75 maybe. All right, this is a halogen size extra large cashmere blend I paid $5.99, and this is just a mid-length, um, mid not trench coat, mid-length um, cardigan. I don't see any pockets. I picked it up because it was in great shape. It comes from Nordstrom Halogen, and it was cashmere blend, which is why I picked it up. All right, next I have, the colors in this are just beautiful, kind of remind me of Cotton Candy, Lauren Ralph Lauren, and I pick up these if they are, um, are plus size. 1X, 2X, or 3X. 1X. Lauren by Ralph Lauren, and it's just all these beautiful pastels. Button-up shirt, and did I say the size? Yes, I did. 1X, and I paid $5.99. These are bread and butter items, and I usually pay $4.99. I usually sell them for $25. Um, maybe before pre-COVID, I would get $30, $35. Now, $25. All right, so next is another Anthro brand, and it is by Rebecca Taylor. Here we go, two embroidered cats. And it is a animal print hoodie with a shawl collar. And nothing more to say than that. I pulled comps, and this is like an older Anthro brand, but it still does pretty good. By pretty good, I would say it probably retailed for 128. I will probably get to 30, 35. All right, next are a pair of black pants that I hopefully bought for myself. We'll see, because I haven't tried them on yet. 
and they are by Patricia Luca Milano Idiot. M Idiot, yes, Milano Italy. And they are just an XL pull on and go. Slim fit, no pockets. And it, I bought it because I liked that little fringe at the bottom. I know a lot of people hate that, but I like it. And I paid $4.99. $4.99 for those. All right, next is a Miss Sook. Miss Sook is a very good brand to pick up, whether it's vintage or newer pieces, obviously do better, but um, it's a sure $50, $50 or up. On my Zook Zip, that I sell, I buy. The bigger the size, the better. Extra large, 100% acrylic. Uh, the lady that wears Miss Zook also usually wears, um, I think her name is Michelle Wang or something Wang. Elaine Fisher, J. Jail, possibly Chico's, Lily Pulitzer, just those type of uh, higher end brands. The buttons are just beautiful with little floral uh, motif. And it is light blue, yellow, and navy. And it has shoulder pads. There's the back. All right. And let's see. Getting down there. Chico's Traveler, size three, kimono, duster. The colors are really nice, red and white. It is sheer. It is three quarter length, so it could go over a swimsuit. There's no buttons or zip or anything, and I paid $5.99, and it is a size three, which is their XL. They use vanity sizing. I pick up a lot of Chico's because also like uh, Chaps Ralph Lauren and Lauren Ralph Lauren, it is bread and butter. Chico's, again, size three, which is their XL. Purple, paisley, purple in Chico's does very well. The lady that wears Chico's loves purple. So it retails, I mean, it retails. It re Actually, it retails for over 50, probably about 58 to 62. And I brought it for 5.99 and I hope to get 25 to 30. Okay, the last few items, guys, are these frame, let's see, they're not button fly. They're frame, heritage, lee style, slender, straight, uh, straight leg, which is frayed. So they're very soft, frame retails for 200 dollars a pair and you really feel it in the fabric it's it feels like legging fabric it's so soft but it's, it is denim but it's just so soft and broken in and, and just beautiful light wash frame jeans like i said they retail for a couple hundred dollars but you will only get about 40. all right so next is another little vintage number i often wonder if size 48 so um and it's lamb's wool and also is lined with that silk and it has little tiny buttons, so it's a little cardigan. And I paid $5.99 at Goodwill. And I think maybe the same person that donated the uh, the white one with the little cottage core uh, detail, I'm kind of curious if they also donated this because it's pretty much the same sweater, just a different size and a different color. So next are Stephanie Thomas by Julia K. I spent $5.99 and it is a mid-length, full-on beaded um, jacket, cardigan jacket. These sell well, well for me, um, as long as there's no holes or loose beads, but I did comment, be, comment um, on how to fix loose beads on another video that I did using a tiniest little bit of glue to stop the beads from unraveling. So that is interesting. I could probably do a whole video on how to repair clothing. Okay, there we go. And let's see. We have another one. It's gold and black. Woo, look at that. Just gorgeous. I smell a little perfume, and I've got to put that because people are, you can't just throw this in the wash. So I think people either, you can't dry clean it either. So I think people just to hang them out in the sun or just be ultra careful when they're eating. I'm trying to think what's going on here. Here's a little hook, so let's unhook it. I see that it's hooked. Oh, can I unhook it? Let's see. Nope, I can't unhook it. All right, do that later. It is a um, medium length. Okay, it's hooked, so that's why it's up on this end, but I'll do that later. So it's just a little jacket, and it is by Thune Light, New York. Boutique, I'm gonna say. Is there any inside tags? No inside tags, but it was with the XLs. Okay, and a, f a couple more items. Okay, so this is really so pretty. Again, I think working working um, women, Melanie Griffith, Safe Silk by Andrea, 
Adriana Papel, and it's 100% silk, size 16, probably 90s, and it's just so prim and proper. She's such a sweet little garment. And we got shoulder pads, and I kind of picture this with white trousers. You're going to work with your white trousers in the summertime, just beautiful. Or maybe you're just going boating. <laughs> so there we have that. And let's see, almost down there, two more pieces. Okay, we have another Chico's, and is this silk? This feels like silk. Chico size two, they use vanity sizing, like I, like I always say. Their size two is a size large, and I paid $5.98.9. It's very soft. Is it either silk or moleskin or something? Lots of times, the tags can be found out by the hip. Where's the tag? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here's the tag. A lot of people cut the tags out. If anyone knows why, I don't know, because it's down by the hip, and it doesn't touch your skin at all, it touch your, touches your pants, so it's not itchy or anything. So I don't understand why people do that. Okay, it's modal, 72% modal and 28% polyester. And Chico's, the newer pieces at least, they do date their clothes. And this is actually from 2010, wow. Pretty impeccable condition for being uh, that old. So beautiful piece, I'm still gonna steam it. And I think we have one more piece left. And this is a red, would have loved to have had that around Christmas and Valentine's Day. Semi crop, and I never pick up this brand. I picked it up solely, solely because it was sequin and because it was red. Red is still going uh, strong. It's the color of last year. It's the color of this year, and it's size 16 by Ashley Stewart, and I paid 4.99 at the Goodwill. And it's really, it's really cute, really cute. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That is my 30-piece haul. I have a, another haul coming up that's going to be 10 pairs of shoes. Um, let me just add these two bras because also with all these clothing, I found just two bras. So this is by Lively, this dark green, and it's a size 2. Again, vanity sizing. Size 2 is a size large. It probably fits up to maybe a C to double D. Very well made, and that was at Goodwill for $5.99. Here we pay $2.49 for the bras in North Carolina, but the bra prices were all over. They were all over the place. This one was only $9.99. I mean, was only $1.99, and um, this is Soma 34D, and this is underwire. Really cute, and probably cost more retail than the other one, but go figure. So there we go. That's the end. And thank you for watching and come back, comment and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.